The Samsung Galaxy S8 is now rumored to be showcased earlier than expected, and mostly glass iPhone 8 is being tipped to go back to stainless steel, and the LG G6 might make a run for the expected MWC announcement. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, forgive the tired mutt face, I was forced into a run today, after running yesterday. This is Pocket Now Daily. Now, the biggest problem with doing the Pocket Now Daily in this time of the year is the amount of rumors we get. This time we hear that uh, Huawei might innovate with the design of the P10. We really enjoy the P9 mainly because of its camera, but not because of its uninspired design. We hear that the P10 might bring that same curved display of the Porsche design, but we also hear that there will also be a variant that does not include the curve, so stay tuned. Now let's talk about the LG G6. LG is desperate to make a comeback in the smartphone world. And we do not understand why the company understated the V20 being probably the best smartphone of 2016. But we hear that the G6 will ditch modularity. In addition, it apparently will be ready for an MWC announcement. Apparently the device will also be ready for a launch on March 10th. We cannot wait to see what we get. Now let's talk about Apple. We've got a couple of rumors that have to do with the future of uh, augmented reality. We heard some rumors earlier that Apple was interested in doing this, but uh, we thought that it was just far-fetched and patents and everything. Apparently the company is partnering with Carl Zeiss for a product. We don't know exactly what they're planning, but it would make a lot of sense in the world for Apple to move into AR given all the popularity and the lack of popularity of Pokemon Go today. And what would a day like today be without iPhone 8 rumors? We have heard the glass on glass design as a possibility, but apparently that's not it. It seems that stainless steel is making a comeback. The last Last time we saw a stainless steel iPhone, it was with the iPhone 4S. Uh, some of us really liked the design, we just didn't really like how heavy it was. So let's see how the company plans to make this iPhone 8 not so heavy and bring all these design elements. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8, or should we say rumors, as uh, we were hearing that Samsung might make a late launch of the Galaxy S8, given all the problems it had with the Note 7 and the company wanting to take its time. Apparently the company is planning to make some sort of an announcement at MWC, and it's been doing so since the Galaxy S6, so it would make all the sense in the world for the company to do so at MWC, but apparently the launch is going to happen much later, even later than the G6, for reasons that make a lot of sense as well. The company needs to take its time with this phone. We also hear rumors on uh, the fact that we're getting eight gigabytes of RAM in addition to no headphone jack. Anyways, it leads me to the question of the day. Would you wait for the Galaxy S8 if Samsung took its time, or uh, would you consider buying any other phone that you get earlier? In my case, ooh, obviously I will have to wait for the Galaxy S8 just because of my job, but if I had to do it as a consumer, I would see what LG comes out with the G6, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on parkingout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.